Okay guys, so today we're making the Kino Brownies from the Movie Star Chef Recipe Cookbook. So let's get everything prepared and we'll get started. For the ingredients, we're gonna use one egg, 175 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. We're gonna use, I like to use two slices of bread, it's about 50 grams. If you don't like to use bread, you could use oats, but uh, I find the bread gives it a nice texture, a more soft texture to the brownie. So you can use whatever you like. We also have a scoop of Kino collagen. Here, I'll show you over here. I've got a scoop of Kino collagen. I have a teaspoon of baking powder and I have a quarter cup of Hershey's cocoa powder. That's all in here. And we're also gonna put about a quarter cup of almond milk, that's unsweetened almond milk. So I like to start with the bread first. I just break it up like this. There's no like order, right or wrong order, but I like to start with the bread first. Crack the egg. Okay. And then we can put in the powders. Okay, just like that. And by the way, I'm following the recipe from the Movie Star Chef Recipe Cookbook, so I have it all here. Can't always memorize everything. Okay, we're gonna put in the Greek yogurt. Just like that, okay. That's good. Now we're gonna put in a quarter cup of unsweetened cashew milk. Now you can use unsweetened almond milk, almond milk. <laughs> but I like to use, I find that cashew milk gives it a more, it's like soft, it's not softer, it's more, it's more creamy I find. So this is a one eighth cup, I'm gonna put two of these, if there's enough in here. There you go. Now you could add sweetener if you like, if you like your brownie more sweeter, but with these flavors, with this flavor combination, it's perfect. Just like this, put the cover on, make sure it's closed well. And now some people I've noticed have some problems with this part of the, of the recipe. You wanna blend it, but you might have to shake it a little bit because of the bread and there's not enough liquids. Sometimes it gets stuck at the top. So you just gotta shake it a bit. Okay, ready? Perfect. About 30 seconds. You hear when it's all well blended. It gets that constant sound and then you just continue blending it for about 30 seconds, okay? Now you're gonna need like a cake pan about this size. You're gonna wanna spray it. And by the way, you're gonna wanna preheat the oven at 400 degrees. Not too much. Makes a bit of a mess. Okay, we're gonna pour this in here. Just like that. Okay, now I have 45 grams of chocolate chips, but these are like the low sugar chocolate chips. This is where I got them. There's nothing left. There's actually exactly 45 grams inside. So I'm gonna add these just like that. Okay. Got some chocolate on my fingers. Okay, so for the frosting, I need a scale, a bowl, and we're gonna start by measuring 200 grams of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Make sure you're at zero. Now you could put more or less. I'm using 200 grams for this recipe. Two or two, okay. Here. Now I'm using the fat-free chocolate jello pudding mix. 
So what we have here, you could use vanilla, you could use cheesecake, whatever you have. 20 grams, 15 to 20 grams. Probably don't even have enough in this one. Okay, I got 10 grams, about 10 grams, okay? Okay, and now this is optional. You could put in some sweetener. I like a bit of sweetener in my frosting. Tastes more like a, a real cake frosting. I'm just putting three packs like that. Perfect. Okay. That's it. Now we're just going to mix this well. And we're going to pop it in the fridge until the brownie is ready. Put this stuff on everything. My pancake tacos. Put this on my toast, on my waffles. I love this stuff. I love this frosting. Okay. That should be good, okay? Okay, so we'll go put this in the fridge and then I'll show you how I dress the brownie once it's ready, okay? Okay, so let's take a look. There it is, looks ready. It's been only 10 minutes, sorry, 12 minutes. I set the timer for 15, but I kept it in for only 12 minutes. So we're going to just let it cool for about five minutes. And then we'll put it on a plate, make it nice and pretty, and we'll take a nice bite. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so there it is. The Kino Brownie with raspberry and yogurt frosting on top. Now, full disclosure, I actually recorded this whole segment about 30 minutes ago, and the microphone was off, so completely had to scrap that, and I had to make this over again so I'll overlay some of the clips from that, how I dressed it up. Uh, I use yogurt frosting, but you could just use plain yogurt or just some Cool Whip or some whatever, some whipped cream, whatever you like. But anyways, point is, is that you get this huge brownie for under 500 calories. It's so filling because of the collagen and it's very high in fiber too because of the the, the raspberries but you could put blueberries or bananas all right guys so i hope you enjoyed the video try this out tag me on instagram and if you haven't picked up your copy of the movie star chef recipe cookbook the link will be down in the description and also pick up your bottle of collagen you're gonna need it for this recipe and many other recipes that i have all right guys hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one later